So what I thought I'd do here is show you a quick little thing that I learned today from uh, the 3D printer noob. And uh, this is, he actually did it a couple years ago, but showed how to create a model and uh, take a single STL model and create a full color model out of it. So I thought I'd go ahead and walk you through the process and uh, uh, show you very quickly here how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import a file. And the file I'm going to import is simply my, my little name badge that I did uh, the other day. So there's my name badge. And uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go to the Select tool. And the Select tool allows us to select a, a size of a brush and um, uh, the type of brush here. So what I'm going to do is shrink it down just a little bit. And once I've selected that, I'm just going to draw over the surface of the parts that I want to change the color of. Now you'll see what it's doing is it's actually selecting the STL surfaces, the tessellated surfaces, which are triangles. As I do that, I can if I get very carefully, I can wipe them all out. Sometimes you got to get it from a different angle, but there we go. Just keep uh, selecting these. And eventually you get to a point where you can just select them all. I uh, do want to show you a little bit here that uh, not only do you want to select the ones on the top, but you can also select the ones on the side here. I can just run this across the side of that, pick those out. And we're going to want to get all the sides. We're going to rotate around here. Run all the way across the surfaces. See, so missed a couple. You see how I overshot a few of them there? If you just hold down the control key, and you can just click on those again, and that'll take care of that. Not real sure why these surfaces are so many triangles on them. There really only needs to be two of them. Uh, all right, that looks pretty good. In fact, that looks fantastic. Okay, so now that we have those, uh, what we're going to do is go up here to the Modify tool. We're going to change, uh, uh, select the Create Face Group. Um, basically, what that's done is this tool has selected it of uh, these surfaces. And now I'm going to convert those surfaces into their own face group. So now you see I have the green face group and the gray face group. I can go to edit and I can say generate complex. And now you can see I have uh, two different surfaces here. I can select them. I can uh, select this gray one here. We're going to say, let's click on them. Got a couple interesting artifacts here. I'm not real sure what's going on there. Let's undo that. That again. There we go. Now we can say accept. 
and I can say now split complex. And now what that's done is that's created two objects, split zero and split one. And those two are the objects that we're going to export. So I'm going to go ahead and export split um, one or zero here as an STL. And let's just call this bill one. And we're going to take this second one. We're going to export that as bill two. And you'll notice I just exported those as STLs. So let's go over to here to our Prusa slicer. We're going to hit plus and we're going to just import both of those objects. And again, just like before, it's asking if we want to merge these. I'm going to say yes. So there you can see I have two models, two objects that are merged. And if I go ahead and slice this, you can see I have two different colors uh, because it's automatically selected them. So maybe I wanted to change these to maybe have a red and a white. So we can change these now to red and white. Slice it and voila, there I have my red and white bill. That's all there is to it. Mesh Mixer, it's free from Autodesk. Pretty, very, pretty cool tool. Very handy. Thanks for watching.